Hey there, it's Martin here from the Man of York. So I'm having a little walk today. It's um, been raining quite heavily and suddenly a little bit of blue sky has come out. It's quite sunny. So I've just left the house and I've gone on a little jaunt to find mushrooms. Because autumn is that kind of season where you get a great flora of fungi. And I thought, why not try picking my own mushrooms? And I know you're thinking, Martin, you're mad, you're probably going to die, and you're probably right, I probably am going to die, but luckily I've got a book guiding me, and I'm hoping to identify some species, and I'm going to walk along Braywick Nature Reserve and see what kind of things I find. Now this is the cut, so I'll show you this, yeah? So just before, the footage you saw was the River Thames, going past the waterside in, very close to my home. I actually live looking out across the water, which is really crazy. Um, the cut is a tributary of the Thames, which is diverted and sort of like um, to prevent flooding, it was diverted quite heavily. It has um, had a bit of a bad reputation for being very polluted, but in recent years it's had a resurgence in wildlife and fish and things, and so it's become quite a pleasant place. Uh, so we're going to head up towards Maidenhead from Bray, have a little walk around the fields and see what we can find. And to be fair, I already know that we can find some because I found some the other day, so uh, for now I identified them and know that they're safe to eat, so we're going to go and see what we can find. And then meanwhile I might have a pipe along the way. So here we are, Braywood Park, a local little bit of green. The big monkey puzzle tree there, which of course are famous for being of the genus of ancient trees that were around when the dinosaurs were around. Lots of autumnal leaves littering the ground as well. Right, let's go and find some mushrooms. So I don't know what species this is, but um, I'll probably look it up in the book. It doesn't bode well for the rest of the mushrooms, such destruction. It's been raining quite heavily, I was hoping that the rain would aid the growth of fungi and things, but it's possible that also the rain's been so heavy that they've been damaged as well. But we'll see, we'll go into the fields, we'll see what there is. So apparently this one might be the deadly roll rim, which kind of makes you intolerant to, other, to eating other mushrooms. And can actually lead to kidney failure or blood clotting later on down the line. So it's a slow burn killer that one. So I don't think I'll be picking that one. Just spot something peeping out. It's amazing how many mushrooms there actually are. Actually, so many different species I'm coming across. Oh, look at this. It's a big one. I think this one might be the cousin of a shaggy ink cat, which isn't that great. That one that can be a little bit off. I have to look it up properly, but it could be the one that where if you eat it, uh, it could be alright, but it might not be alright, depending on your kind of, your own stomach biology. So we might leave it. I'll look it up in the book first, though. 
So nestled in all these nettles, there's loads of uh, shaggy ink caps. And some of them are too mature to eat though, because as you can see, they've got black gills on the bottom. And so, once they start aging, they're not really um, edible, really. But there might be some young ones down there, if I can get past the nettles. Oh. So that's two going in the bag. Okay, so I saw these toadstool things the last time I came out. And I thought maybe they're fairy ring champignon, but then I'm, now I'm not so sure. It's a deadly business, this whole, whole uh, mushroom picking thing. Let's... Oh, okay. So apparently, the, um, apparently the, the fairy ring champignon, which is edible, it's got quite a tough stem, and these don't seem to have tough stems whatsoever. In fact, I'm just like uh, break them quite easily, so maybe it's not what I want. Who knows what deadly shroom these could be? In fact, you don't think they're magic mushrooms, do you? Shall I pick a few and put them in the pipe and see? No, no, no. it's not risky. It's not risky. I've seen the movie shrooms, and uh, nothing well happens in that. Right. Okay, let's just try to find some shaggy ink caps then, and we'll go home. This could be the fuel blew it. And so it might be edible. And nice, apparently. Become a beautiful day. I still don't know about that big one that I picked. Not so sure. I'm a bit scared. Found some. This could be the fairy ring champignon actually. Look at the, um, the stem, how hard it is to break. So if I was to pick another one. So that could be the right one. Let's double check though. Right, I think I've identified those as fairy ring champignon, so let's put them in the bag. And here, of course, these have got a lot of folklore behind them, of fairy ring mushrooms, of course, so their ability to grow in rings. So apparently, you can be whisked away by fairies if you dare step into a ring, but it looks like. Ah, there is a ring! So I was thinking about to say that they sometimes just grow in little clumps in a larger ring. If you look, we can follow it along. Have I accidentally stepped into a fairy ring? There we go. And as you can see, you can see where the grass has been killed off because of the, uh, the root system of the mushrooms has continued. So I'm just basically in a gigantic fairy ring. Cool. I'm going to get collecting.
So I'm back in the nettle patch because I'm worried that that um, poisonous web cat kind of mushroom might have um, contaminate my stock. So I'm going to just see if I can find some more ink caps amongst the nettles. At the risk of stinging myself, but it's better than poisoning myself, I suppose. Looks like these ones are starting to liquidate. So apparently the ink cap is famous for kind of like getting that inky blackness on it and it just sort of turns into mush after like a few days so let's see if we can find some young ones which are edible Ooh, a few nettle things later and I've managed to find quite a good one which hasn't started a big one which hasn't started going black yet has it let's see ah uh, yeah it's alright I'll put them back So I'm now on the smoking stage of the day out. Been smoking some old Dublin. Which I was thought had quite a kick to it. It's dried out a bit though as this tin, so it's a little bit nicer. So I've collected some, I think, fairy ring mushrooms, I hope, and I've collected some shagging caps, maybe just, maybe three shagging caps, and then a few which I think have been contaminated by that web cap or whatever. So I've got to make a decision whether, I'm, whether I think it's safe to eat them or not, but we'll have to see. Well, I hope you enjoyed that kind of like, just wandering around the fields collecting mushrooms. It's a little bit weird and trippy, isn't it? Um, it's quite interesting actually going out and foraging because uh, most British people we always do a little bit of a blackberry picking in uh, late August or September and things but we've all got a bit of a fear of the mushrooms because there's so many poisonous ones out there and really it's just fascinating just going around seeing all the different varieties out there so many colours and so beautiful as well there's also this kind of like a, a very natural kind of thing going around trying to find your own food just in the wild and that possibility of death is quite fun as well. You might say that pipe smoking is probably a safer hobby than picking mushrooms. I'm going to try those fairy rings tonight and I hope I don't die so please pray for Man of York tonight. So I love autumn as a, a season, like summer I find sometimes gets a little bit too much of the heat, uh, especially with our British summers where it can become just muggy and overcast and just a bit miserable really. This year we had lovely bright sunshine for most of summer though, so we were okay. Um, but autumn, when it's like this, on a day like this where you've got these, this combination of rain clouds coming over and lovely brown and red leaves and things like you can't beat a, a beautiful autumnal day cool but not cold enough to not cold enough to stop you sitting out sometimes up north is a different story up north as soon as like autumn comes it just blasts you with extreme rain and wind and things and you're just like oh it's awful and most of the time the lovely brown and red and yellow leaves just get blown off the trees but down here in the south it seems like um, we get pleasant autumns, but it has been really balling it down with rain in the past week. I um, also like uh, October because I'm a real big horror movie fan, and so I really like watching. Um, well, I did do this thing with my brother like a few years ago where I would watch a horror film every single day of October. But now I'm a little bit too busy to do it. I do try my best, much to Rachel's horror, 
because Rachel's not a huge fan of horror films. But uh, I try to kind of seek out as many like obscure ones as possible and try to watch as many as I can uh, during the season. So I'm a, like I say, I'm a big horror fan. Uh, last night I watched the first time uh, a Little Shop of Horrors, which is quite funny. Uh, I've always avoided it because I always thought it's not a true horror because it's not because uh, it's more of a comedy kind of musical horror. But you know it's pretty good. It's pretty funny. You should watch it if you haven't seen it. Uh, if you like cheesy kind of uh, 70s, 80s style things. I hope the wind noise isn't too bad. Oh, there's the parrots. So another feature I've noticed down south is that you get lots of green parrots. And they're a bit of a menace actually, like when I was picking Rachel up from work, um, like a whole flock of parrots literally just flew at our car and I felt like I felt like I'd need I'd need to duck if I was like stood outside the car. Uh, but they just literally skimmed right over the uh, the windscreen. It was bizarre. I'm not so sure when they were introduced accidentally these green parrots but they seem to be all over the place around Windsor area. I was supposed to be washing my car today but I ended up just having to vacuum it out because it poured it down with rain this morning. And I said to myself I'm I was going to clean the car and uh, get that out of the way in the morning and then go on for this little forage hunt to find mushrooms this afternoon and make a video. But the task is still not complete so it weighs on my shoulders. But anyway, to hell with the car. Just enjoy being out in the slight countryside that you can find around this area. I need to think of a spooky video for Halloween. I still need to compile up like a little folklore video, which I wasn't going to do for Halloween, but I might have to make that for uh, All Hallows Eve and do something spooky for that. So I hope you will enjoy it. I should mention a, a few people as well. Um, I should uh, congratulate Mark from North East Piper UK for getting his new job. Well done, Mark. And, um, also, I'm looking forward to seeing what Briar Report TV is all about. There's a lot of people talking about that at the moment, so that should be interesting. Yeah, I'm actually smoking the old Dublin tobacco because I saw Matt was smoking it today. And I thought, oh, maybe I should give that a go again. I'm not so sure. It's one of these, it's a little bit. Bitey. Or maybe it's too dry. But then again, it was quite bitey when I first put it, first smoked it last year. Anyway, I'm still enjoying it though. A little tingle. I hope the wind noise isn't being a bit annoying. And we're gonna head back and I'm gonna finish this bowl. Maybe cook up the mushrooms. Um, hopefully we won't die of some terrible poisoning. Or we'll get some terrible diarrhea. And yeah. Okay, I'll see you all in a bit. Bye then. So this is my haul of the 
fairy ring mushrooms, which I'm gonna fry up now. I'm gonna leave these ones though, because those are in the same bag as what I think was actually the death cat mushroom. So I rewatched the footage and I looked at that and I actually think that probably that mushroom that I picked and put in the bag was probably the deadliest mushroom in the whole world. So don't you ever say that Man of Yacht Channel has no peril in it because uh, I could have died on this expedition. Okay, this is it, I'm going to try it. So this is the only other mushroom other than the ink cap that I've ever tried. And so, uh, I think I've definitely identified it right, but if not, you know, who knows what could happen. So here we go. Mmm. Oh, it does taste good though. Yeah. Mmm. It's nice. Kidding guys, it's okay. If I, if I was to be poisoned, it would probably take six hours to, for it to actually kill me. So, yeah, anyway, so pray for Man of York. See you in a bit, and everyone have a nice weekend. Bye, man.